Hey y'all, hope you're having a good day so far. Wanted to jump on here and do a quick video. We're out here doing a lot of aggregate cleaning and sealing and concrete work. Uh, just today we're doing one, two, three driveways and a back patio. I mean, so it's incredible the amount of sealing that we're doing right now. A loud car going through here. Wanted to jump out here and do a couple tips on aggregate cleaning and sealing. Just finished our first coat on this driveway. So you can see it's got a slope to it. We did a gray, we're one coat in right now, it's still wet. And uh, so a few things I wanted to point out. One is when you have a customer who has a driveway with a slope like this, I always recommend upselling to Shark Grip. It's something you can find online or at your local Sherwin-Williams. What it does is it helps to prevent, especially when it's raining and all that, all the water and all the slipperiness right there, it puts some additional grip in it. It's pretty inexpensive. You mix it in with your top coat of sealer. So on the second coat, we'll do it on this one. Usually $50 or so uh, would be the upcharge on it and uh, cover the driveway, walkway. Do up to about a thousand square feet with that. Um, so it's an easy thing to do. The homeowner loves it. It's invisible to the naked eye so they don't see it. So anyway, uh, it's something they always appreciate when I can add that service to it. Second thing is always, if you can, have a sign ready when you're done with the driveway. We put ours right here at the end. So people, when they see it, they say, oh, okay, that's who did it. They want to know who did it. When you do a good job, they are always interested to know who did that driveway. How does it look so good? It just sparkles. Have your signs ready. I go to Vista Print and uh, design them there and then send them to my house. And it's, it's well worth it. They're about $25 a piece out the door and you'll lose them over time and customers will throw them away and they'll get damaged, but they pay for themselves in the long run. Good things to have. Uh, recently, I'd say within the last couple of years, moved over to Super Seal 30. So it's a Clemens brand product uh, made in Nashville. Does a phenomenal job. Has a higher hard count. I used to use Eagle and I got away from that because um, their hard count is lower somewhere around 25 in their hard count. So this, I found a couple helpful things. One, it is a higher hard count of 30, so that means that you're basically getting a better product, a higher grade. Two, for us, at least it's local. Um, they were working in Franklin, but we basically cover Middle Tennessee. And then three, this comes in incredibly handy, this spigot right here. So Eagle does not have this spigot on theirs. You find Eagle at Lowe's and Home Depot. You can find this, Clemens at Sherwin-Williams. This spigot is incredibly helpful. You mix it up and you don't have to pop all these rings off and try to pour and then put it back. It's very time consuming. So this makes the whole process a lot easier. So there's all those things. Um, crack filler, when I'm doing crack filler, I generally do that on the, before I start the first coat. So I do the clean it and then crack filler and then would do first coat then second coat and shark grip goes on the second coat only. That's the only time you need that. And then the last thing I wanted to point out is edges. On my edges, I really only do that on the second coat. First coat, I'm as good as I can be. You got the 18 inch roller, uh, one and a quarter nap that I use. And invest in the good bucket, guys. It's You buy it one time and you can use it forever, basically. I used to do the disposable ones and it wasn't worth it. Buy the good one. Lowe's, Sherwin-Williams has it too. Anyway, so with edges, just get as good as you can. It's a pretty big roller, so you can't get everything perfectly. However, what you can do is get as close as you can to the edge, and then what you'll do is just go to your local store and get a paintbrush. I usually get just like a three inch one, and that's where I'll go and hit all my edges. So the edges I only do on second coat. You can see those a little bit over there need done. Um, just because there's an overlap on it and you don't want to end up hitting the same spot three times. If you did it once on first coat and then you did your first coat and then you did second, it'd be three times. So do your first coat with just that. You come back the next day, do your edges first and then do your second coat. That's my process. It seemed to work so far. Per so anyway, that's what I got for our, uh, aggregate clean and seal. So we're here in Franklin today, headed back to where are we going next? Nolensville. And then we're going to do an aggregate lay there. And then we're headed to Spring Hill. We're going to go do a, a porch there. We're doing some concrete work. So concrete's great. It's kind of almost like an art. Like once you learn it, it's, it's incredible, all the stuff you can do with it. I found Sherwin-Williams to be 
very knowledgeable when it comes to concrete work. I'll have questions all the time and I call my guy there and I'm like, hey man, here's what my customer's asking. What do you recommend? And sometimes he knows and sometimes he's like, hey, let me make some calls and I'll call you back and then he'll call me back and say, here's what I would use. So that's been very helpful to me because we've been doing a lot of concrete work lately. And uh, so it's good. I mean, it's a, you know, very comes out real well and it lasts for years. So whenever I have those questions, Sherwin Williams has always been real good to me here. So hope that helps. Hope you guys have a great day and uh, catch you on the next video. Thanks.